Hello students, today we are going to be talking about the thioglycolate medium, which is used to determine the oxygen use of a particular species of bacteria. Let's talk a little bit about the thioglycolate medium. So the thioglycolate medium has yeast extract in it, as well as a pancreatic digest of casein, and these are uh, nutrients that the bacteria will be using to grow um, in the medium. Also in the medium is glucose, a source of sugar, and uh, also in the media is uh, reducing agents that are going to reduce oxygen, and those include sodium, thioglycolate, and cysteine. Uh, the other ingredient that's important here is the res azurin indicator dye that turns red or pink in the presence of oxygen, and this allows us to determine which parts of the tube are oxygenated, um, and those parts will turn red. And so, um, also in this tube is a little bit of auger. Not enough auger to cause it to solidify, but just enough to make it a little goopy, and that actually prevents the oxygen from reaching all the way to the bottom, which we can uh, determine by adding our reses urine dye, which is already in the medium. So basically what forms is an oxygen gradient in the upper part of the tube whereby oxygen is going to be less um, concentrated as we move down the tube and eventually there will be an, a region here that has no oxygen called the anoxic region and this region up here is the oxygenated region where the oxygen can actually penetrate into the tube. So what that provides us in this tube is an oxygenated versus an anoxic region, and then we can determine if the bacteria require oxygen, such as strict aerobes, and what we'll see is a growth pattern just in the oxygenated region, but no growth in the anoxic region. Strict anaerobes, on the other hand, are reversed. Uh, they're actually poisoned by oxygen, so they will not grow in the oxygenated region, and only grow in the anoxic region. Microaerophile, file meaning love, is going to need just a little bit of oxygen, so they tend to grow right here the, um, uh, in the area where there's just a little bit of oxygen, just enough to support their growth, but not enough to actually poison them. Facultative anaerobes grow really well in the presence of oxygen, so you will see a very thick growth pattern in the oxygenated region. And they can still grow in the anoxic region without oxygen, but not as well. So you will see less growth, almost in a V-shaped pattern in the tube as you move towards the bottom of the tube. Aerotolerant bacteria are going to grow equally in all regions of the tube, um, and they can grow with or without oxygen at the same rate just fine. Now, how do we inoculate the thioglycolate medium? So what you want to do is you can start from a broth culture, you can start from a slant, or you can start from a colony. Let's say we're starting from a broth culture. So what you would want to do is resuspend any pellet that might have been in your tube there. And let's pretend that this is our inoculation loop. So under a, um, a, using aseptic technique, like we talked about in the previous video, making sure you work near your flame, uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to flame the loop to incinerate any microbes on here. Then we're going to dip it in. Okay, so we're going to dip our, our loop into the uh, broth culture. And then we're going to take the cap off. Now, only take the cap off in the region around your flame that has um, se uh, your semi-sterile area. Okay. Then you're going to just dip it straight down. So you'll dip it all the way to the bottom and then come back up. Okay. And then once you do that, the bacteria should be in there. Now, flame your loop again to kill any bacteria that may be on there before setting it down. Now, we don't want to close this tube and shake it, okay, uh, because then we'll disturb our gradient of oxygen here. So what we do is we close the cap all the way, then open it a half turn, and that will ensure 
that for the bacteria that do need um, oxygen, that uh, air can get in and out um, and they can actually respire. So don't close a cap all the way. You want to make sure that you have a loose cap. Okay. And then you take the tube between your hands and for example here is one of those tubes and actually you can see the gradient of the rest of zirin at the top where we have the oxygenated region and then the region at the bottom here where we have the deoxygenated or anoxic region. So once it is inoculated, close it all the way, open it a half turn to ensure that the cap is loose, air can get in and out, and then you want to rub it between your hands a few times. That will prevent our oxygen gradient from uh, being perturbed and also help to mix around the bacteria a little bit. And once you're done, make sure the tube is labeled. Now you want to label your tubes at the top not the bottom and that's because we don't want to obscure the region that we are going to be observing so always write up top do not label the caps because I will tell you if you try to put tape on the caps and you try to get that off it'll be very very difficult to remove okay if you write on here with a sharpie you can always remove sharpie from glass tubes with a little bit of alcohol and it'll come right off okay if you're using tape make sure to dog ear the tape so that the tape can be removed from the glass but never label the caps also caps can be um, accidentally fall off the top and then you won't know what's in this tube okay so those are some tips for um, inoculating thioglycolate and also labeling your tubes now you wanna um, incubate this for 24 hours to 48 hours um, at about 37 degrees Celsius um, and when you come back, what you'll find are the different growth patterns for whatever microbe you have inoculated. Now, here's an example here of a strict aerobe. So you can see that the growth is only in the oxygenated region, but not the anoxic region. Okay, so that's your strict aerobe. If you look very carefully here, you can see that the top here the oxygenated region has nothing growing in it but there is lots of growth in the lower region here the anoxic region so this would be a strict anaerobe and this happens to be um, a species of clostridium so this one's a strict anaerobe okay and the next one we have here uh, you can actually see that on the top here in the oxygenated region there's thick growth and then less growth at the bottom but still growth and it's actually in almost like a v-shaped pattern so this I would say is a facultative anaerobe grows really well with oxygen but does not require oxygen to grow this final one here has a uh, pattern of growth that is equal throughout the tube in the oxic in the um, oxygenated re region and the deoxygenated region. So this one would be aerotolerant. Now I don't have an example of the microaerophile, um, but if we did have that one, you would just see a, a, a thin band of growth here right between where you have lots of oxygen and no oxygen. And that's how you um, inoculate as well as interpret your thioglycolate medium.